our world is changing. Extreme heat all over the continent, matched by sudden deluges of rain. This is climate change happening on a daily basis. What does that mean for investors? You will have regulation risk on some companies, you will have business risk on some companies that will not be able to adapt. In this country, they've gone days this year without producing electricity from any coal-fired power station. Eight of them sitting there idle, ready to produce, but nobody wants the power. We are more than ever at risk of extreme weather. Our planet is getting hotter. So it's us burning fossil fuels that's producing this. So we've got to find solutions. We're not sitting around waiting for new policies to be announced, and neither should you. The picture doesn't have to be bleak. There's an enormous amount of work going on in academia, in industry, in order to provide the tools and analytics to break these things into things that we can understand, things that we can put dollar signs to and close that gap of information, which allows capital to be allocated more efficiently. It's always been framed as something we should do. Take care of the planet for future generations. But can we make money from climate-ready investment? Now, even in the United States, large-scale wind and solar is competing at half of the rate that conventional power generation is trading at. And new build gas, new build coal can't even get close to competing to the rates that we're seeing. The cost is lower now for renewable energy, new renewable energy, than fossil fuel. So why wouldn't that be a global trend? It's driven by the fundamental economics. Climate change is one of the biggest macro trends facing investors this century. It's moving to a tradable investment idea. And this course with Dr. Charles Donovan is your chance to get up to speed. Your time's precious, so why are you going to do this course? Well, there's three things, really. We've got a great opportunity to spend some time with some very senior folks in the finance industry who are going to tell us about how their businesses are being changed. Taking into account climate risk in your investment philosophy and taking it uh, will, at, on the long term, bring superior return than just ignoring it. We've now got this carbon dioxide in here. You'll learn a bit about the science. And what you will see is that the temperature of the bottle with carbon dioxide reaches a higher equilibrium temperature than the one with, with air in it. And the reason for doing this is that's what's going on in our atmosphere. We're going to be talking about physical risks. And these are the manifestations of climate change like rising sea levels, ocean acidification and extreme weather. You'll look at what these risks mean for how we get around, where we go on holiday and even what we eat and how that's going to affect the businesses focused on these things and the businesses that supply them. And of course, ultimately, what we're really talking about is the value of these companies. We're not here to tell you what you should believe about these issues. It's about presenting the facts and letting you decide. It's a gonna rain, children. Consider this one fact. Every five weeks, 9,500 brand new electric buses take to the road in China. 9,500 buses is the equivalent of the entire London bus fleet. Something big is happening, and there will be winners, and there will be losers. They told me, great God, when it began to rain. Now, this is a scene increasingly common in London and many cities around the world. And if this gains hold, not just for delivery vehicles, but the cars that you and I drive, well, something truly disruptive is going to happen. Because God's got the key and you can't get in. This could be the biggest investment opportunity ever. And it's only just beginning. We said we would facilitate 100 billion of new capital in sustainable finance by 2025. We will reduce our exposure to thermal coal. We are moving to 100% renewables from an operational perspective. And the journey hasn't even started. We will be building wind and solar in the developing world for decades to come. It's not just about risk. It's about building and growing and creating opportunities. This doesn't have to be a sad story. Let's get going. It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. We won't tell you what to think about climate risk, but we will teach you how to be part of the investment solution. It's gonna 
rain, it's gonna rain.